Hello guys, um, <clears throat> today we're gonna take a look at the power supply. Uh, so this is Meanwhile power supply and I got it because uh, my 3D printer power supply go bonkers and I yeah and I don't want to play too too much spend too much time to play with it make sure it uh, gonna be fixed because it was really bad quality one it was um, like very very badly made maybe someday I'll show you how crappy it is so I decided to actually invest money into a uh, new power supply and this time it is 350 watt 24 volt meanwhile power supply and this is how it's look like hey do you want to come out hey, he's shy looks like this dude is shy just don't wanna... oh here we are so here we are nice and shiny meanwhile power supply this is a uh, 24 volt uh, joby uh, 14 point let's say 15 amp and 350 watt roughly very simple contraption um, it has an uh, active cooling fan, which is great, uh, and uh, apparently the fan will turn on and off, depends on the, on the load or probably on the uh, heat inside. So what do you, it's very simple construction, all, um, construction, all metal case uh, uh, made of aluminum on all sides. Some information over here, and we have three terminal for uh, 12, 24 volt plus 24 volt minus ground and live and neutral over here so it's very simple to connect screw terminals just plug your um, uh, wire with the terminal like a fork terminal or a circular terminal screw it in and it's gonna you know stay very firmly um, <clears throat> and last long so this guy doesn't have any sense lines for example to make sure under high load voltage is not gonna dip you can adjust a little tweak a little voltage over here but that's pretty much it there is nothing else around here at all so this is how it looks like on all sides yeah so not much going on here at all it, this is just a power supply so why i make video about it so i really want to take a look what's inside for two reasons. Reason number one, what if this is uh, counterfeit? Well, I don't know, I bought this on Amazon, I don't really know if it's legit or not, so I'm gonna take a look what's inside. Um, it looks like it is okay, uh, but we're gonna judge the quality uh, of the power supply inside. And also, I'll uh, gonna take some sh pictures of the board, and if you guys are gonna have a question, like, oh, I bought power supply, whatever, LRS 35024, or whatever, probably they're gonna, uh, 24, 12, 48, they're gonna look probably very similar inside. And you're not sure if it's like a legit one, you can just refer to my images, and you're just like, oh, okay, this looks like okay, or this is not uh, look okay because it's quite different. So, or maybe mine is wrong, I'm gonna, uh, you know, look around uh, checking the internet to see if this is legit or not uh, so here we are uh, I'm pretty sure it works out of the box so what I have to do is just probably unscrew those bolts uh, on the perimeter and just leave this metal metallic case out and probably disconnect the fan that's it just gonna do it very very quickly Hmm, weird, those are self-toppers. I thought it's gonna be like proper screws. So plastic stuck in them. Like, I don't know what the hell is this blue thing. Is this like a, I don't know if you see it, hope you see it. It's, is it like Loctite of a sort? Hmm, weird. Okay, that was simple. Uh, okay, let me disconnect the fan. Okay, fan is disconnected. So fan, 12 volt fan. Um, this looks like 60 millimeter joby. DC brushless, whatever brand it is, I don't know. Made in China. Okay, well, that's... Actually, this is not aluminum. This looks like this top is um, steel. It's very thin. Okay. Uh, this looks actually quite nice. Okay, I will zoom in for your convenience and we're gonna go over the 
power supply. Alright guys, we have this um, power supply open and let's take a look what we have here. So, I guess we start from this uh, left side. On left side we have a uh, terminal blocks. Three of them are negative, three of them are positive and three of them are to connect the mains. So I think if I see correctly um, ground, neutral and live. They are pretty tall so you probably won't be able to really short each of them with your screwdriver if you're gonna fiddle here and if you're gonna use proper terminals it shouldn't be a problem at all. So what we see here is the fuse, it's a ceramic fuse so it's not gonna blow up all over the place and leave like a shrapnel of the metal uh, screwing your uh, power supply. What I see also here is there's some sort of um, in insulation kind of holes it's to like I guess to insulate mains from the rest of the power supply and th things like that or in between uh, main lines but the problem is like I, I don't see the slots usually there is only one slot I see it's over here but <laughs> kind of get used to see slots uh, which probably for the mechanical properties of the PCBs they didn't cut slots so it's gonna we're gonna see it um, take a look what's on behind so and some of the uh, as you see a bunch of stuff is missing for example this supposed to be TVS sort of uh, module like a component over here it's not they have a filter it's um, CL, CL input filtering but like it is another big capacitor which probably gonna be can be similar to this one to make a CLC filtering it's kind of missing as well so I'm not sure if this is just not necessary or they try to you know uh, pinch any kind of penny possible so so this is sort of and also I noticed on, on inputs they don't really have any mob uh, device to protect against over voltage it's another kind of interesting thing um, just the fuse and that just for the short circuits I guess so also here are two um, in rush current, current limiting those are NTC thermistors they I, I guess they on each of the lines there is a voltage switch right now it's set to 115 but before I got it it was to, to, to 30 or something like that to 30 yes I switched it to 115 I never actually turned this guy on so that's why I safely can poke around with a metal screwdriver but it's not advisable to do so so then we go a bit closer here still on primary side we have two TVS units which are gonna protect against like um, a voltage spikes those are clamping diodes uh, or pair of diodes so it's good to have I guess um, wondering why this one is missing uh, then also there are big primary capacitors which are 200 wait they are 200 how this thing supposed to work at 230 if those caps are 200 volt weird am i missing something anyways um interesting unless they are mm, uh, sequentially connected and like they split voltage potentially uh anyways uh they are of some sort of lilon brand so i'm not sure how good is this brand i'm not the expert at least they are 105c so if they're gonna warm up uh, they going to um, uh, can can handle it because plus they are pretty beefy and also there is no any other units which are gonna be hot just nearby them oh yeah I forgot to mention the rectifier uh, bridge rectifying uh, diode bridge over here which is connected to the chassis um, and that's cool because it's gonna dissipate the heat on the chassis this is just awesome uh, I don't know what is this a little transformer one two three one it's really hard to tell it looks like it's five five pins here five uh, so we're contacts. going towards this side of the business and um, those are two transistors which are okay I, it's really hard to make out what are they yeah, I try to put them as close as possible to my yeah and what I like about this setup that they those two transistors they are uh, protected with this rubber silicone thingies and they if they're gonna blow up again they can this is gonna be contained so there's a thermal interface which I probably have to, would have to <laughs> obviously put back uh, looks like there are two current sense resistors because they are 024 ohm and looks like they're pretty beefy so it's, uh, it's good a nice um, 
nice big main transformer between primary and secondary. The pro the 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 the, the, the um. The thing is, which is awesome, uh, because it's nice, it looks like it's a good quality one, it's protected, I hope it's all shielded well, it's hard to tell. All of these transformers, they are mean well branded, so I assume this is like not a some sort of knockoff kind of power supply. So let's go further, we have a, we have a choke here, and uh, there was fan was connected over here, and I assume I would see a, um, how do you call it? Um, thermistor somewhere and actually there is one there is a little tiny guy over here but similar to actually these guys it's uh, NTC thermistor but I'm not sure what is use what's the use of this guy the, the what's funny thing is it's not it's actually in this blob of silicon or whatever potting compound but it's not connected to anything and it's not touching this big choke it's not touching anything else so kind of wondering what the hell is going on there and they have was really liberal on applying all this goop all over the place so i'm not sure if it's probably covering some sort of like this capacitor is all gooped up over here and maybe there's something else underneath but i don't know so getting closer to the there is a choke over here hope this is a part of some sort of output filtering it's real hard to tell uh, maybe this uh, big inductor as well um so caps are on, uh, are obviously 35 i think they are 35 volt really where 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 where's the 34 volt 470 microfarad this is and they are rubicon so this is awesome those are probably uh worse brand but all other cups over here these two guys these guys they all are rubicons uh, which is uh, awesome so and they are not too far not too close to any kind of heat sources so this is awesome it's like it's a nightly spread so over here we have two two more rectifying diodes so at first i thought those are transistors but it's clearly indicated by q so this two diodes here and two diodes here so uh, the funny kind of now that they are different so maybe they are in different part of circuit and there is also a whole bunch of jumpers over here so you it looks like you are able to put uh, uh, you know kind of different um, different combination of diodes or, or, or maybe like not diodes but actually MOSFETs depending on your setup and uh, this is cool it looks like they are using the same board they're configuring for different voltages maybe for different um, currents and things like that's just pretty awesome um, I mean they are saving obviously money on that so that's probably it on this oh yeah one mentioned the little tweak you can tweak your 24 volts if you uh, if it's off uh, there is no sense, uh, uh, any sense line, so you cannot do voltage sensing. I have another power supply of Minwell which has voltage sensing, which is kind of awesome, and it, uh, able to adjust, uh, keep 24 volt at 24 volt when there is a big load. It's not going to dip too much. So this one doesn't have it, so you have to rely on the gas to make sure your voltage is in within the range using this resistor, a little potentiometer. So let's take a look on the back side. I kind of pull this board, unscrew a whole bunch of screws around here, and. Uh, I'll have to reapply thermal interface, obviously. Ah, it's not really handy. I don't want to bend those too much. I already put my. All right, so stuck on the back side. This is what we have. There's not much going on. I thought I'm going to see more active components right here. Uh, but I see only one mic, um, one charge, uh, sorry, a regulator controller over here, and I'm gonna take. A, looks like it's rubbed off. No, it's not. Well, not much saying. It says 1252E. That's all you have. That's pretty much it, so I don't know what's happening right here. Uh, so yeah, this is all, all here, my god, jelly beans components, and I don't see any bodges. I think this is all very well thought through kind of component, component stuff. Uh, this is, oh, by the way, LRS 350A R7. This is release 7, and there is something interesting I want to show you as well. Over here, it says the date of this revision i assume right and it says lrs 350a r7 
2018-07-12, like it's July 2018. It says Edward. I'm curious, Edward is the guy who actually designed the thing? I don't know. Maybe. Hey, Edward, if you're ever gonna see my video. Um, so that's pretty much it. I will try to photograph the back side and front side of this PCB to keep every uh, to have everyone to share. Maybe with time we're gonna see a design changes of this particular power supply because it looks like uh, it's quite a popular one, especially for 3D printing community. Um, I'm not gonna do any tests. I'm pretty sure this guy gonna work out of the box and gonna perform properly. Uh, I just want to share um, uh, and to, to share the video and images of this thing and also mention um, uh, uh, about my thoughts about on the quality of the power supply. I have one power supply which definitely crappy one and I'm gonna show you another uh, as part of another video and maybe even repair maybe because I don't think it worth spend too much time on re uh, repairing that power supply as uh, that crappy it is because it's actually it's my original power supply from my original 3D printer. It got busted and hence I bought this one. Um, so I must say first the tremendous change in quality. So this is meanwhile um, 300, 350, uh, 24 volt, 350 was 20, uh, 24 volt, 14.6 amp or something to this extent. Um, I think this is all we have at the moment. The only one thing I want to see and, uh, and it's important to me to have this fan you know, not work constantly, but be throttled by or depend be depending on the temperature. If high temperature, it's gonna pour power on. If no, because the other power supply I have, it always have the fan on, which is kind of annoying. Uh, even if you don't pretty much do anything, if you just power it on, do not turn on any uh, electronic fan is on. Like why? So I uh, hope you guys like this sort of video. Um, Detailed photos will be linked below. Uh, please like, subscribe, and uh, if you have any suggestions, please fire it up. Thank you for watching and see you next time.